In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the APC-03 Attack Prime Crystal Power Edition, a special edition version of the APC-01 Optimus Prime. This is a very interesting remake, and I'm very intrigued by what they've done, so by all means, let's get in to the review. What's up Alfonso Nation, Alfonso Peterman here today. Guys, welcome one and all to another episode of Teletran Reviews, that's right. Before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to Shozy Store for providing me with this product for review. For those who are unfamiliar with Shozy Store, they are a pretty awesome third party Transformers and Marvel website where you can get a whole bunch of different assortment of figures for pretty good prices. They have DNA kits, they have 3-0 products, and I've seen a lot of other interesting things like this Attack Prime and other APC figures as well. So if you're interested, click the link in the description box below and check out their website. Right here, we have a special edition of the APC-01 Optimus Prime. I gotta say, that one was a really awesome release. It was a fan favorite. A lot of people indulged in that figure. And I guess APC saw uh, the great response that it got, and then he went ahead and released a 2.0 version of that. And that was the repainted version of the first one, which was just a better paint. You know, they had like the gradients on the, on the guns and that nice chrome finishes. And here we go. Now we have a third release of Optimus Prime from APC Attack Prime. Interesting how they're just basically milking the attention that this figure is getting and I guess this design will attract a couple of people. I didn't really know what to expect going into it. I said, wait, he's clear? <laughs> Like, he's clear. He's translucent. Okay, we're gonna see this. So, when I got it in, I actually, it actually kind of exceeded what I thought it would look like. I, it kind of looked better than what I expected, and it, he looks kind of like candy. <laughs> I gotta say, this is probably the best packaging I've seen for the APC Optimus Prime hands down. This is amazing. When I got the, like, the initial shipment, it blew me away because I was expecting the same box, the same black box with like the, you know, the shot of the figure. But as you can see, you got Optimus Prime looking gorgeous, beautiful art of him. Man, if they didn't have the title there, I would just cut this off and make this into like a little picture. It's so cool, beautiful animation. He is a 003 Attack Prime. Crystal Power is the special edition. Of course, that's a special edition here. You get a little tight on this side and... I love it. I love the touch. You got the Star Saber. Like, this is pretty awesome. And then on this side is where you actually got the vertical profile of the figure itself. And here you go. Robot in alt mode. And, <laughs> man, it's just an interesting, like, spin on what we've been used to with what they previously released. Of course, this production attack prime crystal power. Transforming fighter with two modes and full actions. <laughs> I love third-party explanations, it's so funny. But that's pretty much all for the packaging, so without further ado, let's take them out and have a look. And here we have the absolutely stunning Optimus Prime APC-03. I mean, I just got, right when I took him out, he looked like candy, like an actual Jolly Rancher. He's Jolly Rancher Prime. But I love him, and it's like, a, it's very weird. He's got clear plastic where he would normally have gotten, you know, normal gray unpainted plastic. And you can literally see the joints inside of him. It's very, very weird, but I love it. Giving you guys a closer look, I mean, this, this looks... It's an interesting take, you know, Crystal Power Edition. Optimus Prime, you know, we have a lot of remakes, a lot of different, uh, uh, you know, renditions of Optimus. Sometimes you get, like, the all-gold. Sometimes you get the all-silver. They call them Silver Knights. Sometimes you get the Nemesis version. You, know, you got the Shattered Glass version. <laughs> There's so many different versions of Optimus that you see out there in the market. Uh, well, this is another. Crystal Power is 
you know, and, and I'm sure they've done the same thing with other figures with translucent plastic, replacing the original, like, all gray uh, plastic, the unpainted plastic. So, I think it's a pretty nice touch for those who are just interested in collecting all of ABC's figures. This is something you would have to likely go for. If you don't really want to get the original one, I think this is a pretty interesting one for, especially those who are making stop motions and you want to have, like, different versions of Prime for different reasons. Um, I, I like it. I like it. I, I mean, I don't know what it is, but I like it. Uh, giving a closer look, you got some nice silver painting. So there is silver uh, in his design. You straighten him out here. You got the silver painting on the uh, stomach area. <laughs> Almost looks like a face there. You got the two eyes and you got the mouth. <laughs> now you can't unsee it. <laughs> you got the blue right here for the uh, hips. And then you got the thighs that are clear. You can literally see the joints on the inside there. And then, of course, for the top, you know, you got the, uh, the, the clear plastic. You got the red plastic, but it's translucent. Uh, and you do actually have some black touches. So the hands are still black. And then you've got the elbow area, and that one is still black. And you can see the joints there. The towers, the towers, <laughs> the tires are black. Uh, now, I did see, in a, like, a version of this where the tires were clear. So they have a version where the tires are clear. I actually just prefer to get this one because I wanted at least some resemblance to reality, you know, I wanted to kind of look a little, uh, you know, realistic, so I told them to give me the ones with the black tires, but they do have the ones that are not. He does come with all of his original accessories, and these are the blasters. Now, I would say I don't think I'm much of a fan of how they're just clear plastic, but nice molding uh it's they look pretty cool and when you put them on him they do look better but i would just have rather them to be darker like the tires are so still translucent still has the same framework but it blends in with the hands very well when you got the darker uh plastic still translucent but this is a close look right here of the blasters and they are symmetrical just like the original releases where you can put them on either hand i'll peg it in right here all right, so here we got him pegged in, and that's how they look. I like him. Now, I like him when, you know, he's holding them. It actually makes the most sense when he actually has them in his hands. And, man, I love that. I love the blasters. The blasters give a really nice touch to the overall design. They do blend in very well. I will say that they're very, very awesome for display quality. So I will not uh, say that it's a bad thing. I would have personally preferred them to be darker, but I can live with this. Coming down to the Energon Blades. I know this is also a really nice uh, uh, accessory from the, from the original release. And then here you got the Blades Energon. And this time they went with all blue translucent plastic, which I don't mind. I think these are much, much better uh, being that they're colored. Uh, once again, I think that they're really, really awesome the original way, but these are a nice touch, and you kind of got that nice glisten. It's actually flat right here at the top, and then it comes to a point. Uh, same exact mode and sculpting of the original. Same process as with the blaster, and there you have Optimus Prime looking excellent. This is beautiful. I love it. I love how it really just brings out that action version of this crystal power prime that they've given us coming down to an accessory accessory <laughs> it's an accessory of an accessory this is the clip for the star saber the uh it actually goes on the back and there is a peg right here it's in between it's like right here in the center and uh it's hard to see of course with everything being the same color and you just peg it in like that and with the additional head accessory it's the same uh, you know, f uh, concept as the other one. You got uh, the non-battle mask. I think I like this one better, though. There's something about this paint. Uh, this one doesn't look like it has very much mistakes done. I like uh, this this non-battle mask head edition versus the other ones. Now, I haven't seen the one for the 2.0 Optimus, but the first one did have some third-party painting mistakes. This one is way much better. I mean, this one's got really really nice and it's very streamlined you don't see any paint uh, mistakes now your model may not be the same in its third party but i do really really like these and so this is really awesome last but most i say i always save the 
best accessory for last. This is this. I mean, I don't even care how they do the plastic. <laughs> like, this is a translucent Star Saber, and I'm still in love with it. We got the Star Saber, the signature weapon, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sculpted Star Saber. I will always love this sculpt. This is almost completely spot on from what we saw in the actual TV series. And I love the clear plastic for the actual handle. And it is the same principle where you would remove the actual base of the handle and then you would come around and then you would just have to align it up with the hand like that. You could push it down a little bit more. There we go. I like to rotate it when I'm moving it so that way uh, it doesn't uh, put any pressure on the plastic. And <laughs> oh man, every time I put the Star Saber on Optimus Prime, it brings me joy. It brings me life. I love this thing. Now th this is just how you dis this is how you display Optimus Prime. This is how it's done. Prime versus Megatron with the Star Sabers battling it out in an epic showdown. An amazing beautiful oh, <laughs> I'm freaking out behind this camera because I just every time every time you put the Star Saber on Transformers Prime Optimus, it illuminates him and and just brings him to a whole new level i this right here sells it for me the whole thing even if the plastic you know like it's it's weird kind of how would the, the the crystal pop i i don't care this is awesome this is awesome coming around to articulation yeah articulation celebration for the alfonso nation <laughs> um it's the same exact articulation as the previous one, but I'll go over it. He does have a waist uh, swivel here. <laughs> and then he has, uh, you, you know, they got the shoulder pads. This come up for the bottom, which brings the arm all the way out. And if you twist it a little bit uh, like that, you can bring it a little bit higher up. Because uh, you got like the forearm. Uh, you do have an arm rotation here. Uh, and then you've got very tight hand rotation it's almost like the the actual wrist of the hand stays the same but the hand itself rotates like that so that's how that works and then the arm can come down and it does bend at the elbow about 90 degrees and it does rotate all the way around like that so nice arm rotation for the legs the legs come out like that it does rotate around it does come up very high kick and it does come back uh, I think the backpack does obstruct it but I believe it can go higher than that of course if you do remove it out the way um, and then when it comes up it does have a nice knee bend so really nice articulation the feet do have a pivot and then kind of like a like a toe pivot like that you got the head rotation it's on the ball joint so he goes all the way around uh, his highest point is about right here. He can look up significantly well. And then the lowest point would be like this. Of course, he's got all the stuff on his chest, so that does obstruct his movement a little bit. Now, one problem I'm going to mention, because I can't do this review without mentioning it, these shoulder joints pop out a lot. So I can just say I want to pose him like that. See, just, just by pulling it uh, forward, it comes out. So I tried to reattach it I try to apply some force try to make sure it's in there and then I come around and then this comes out <laughs> so the shoulder the shoulder assembly is okay uh, but it, it does you do have to remind yourself to uh, keep keep all the stuff tabbed in and keep it all looking together but once it's tabbed it looks amazing and I'm a big fan of this release of Transformers Prime Optimus Prime and lastly, we just got to do some comparisons. So here he is with the Ultra Magnus. This is the Hasbro uh, Ultra Magnus. I believe it's the original release. We'll need a Studio Series remake for all these figures. Just going to throw that in there. Uh, you got the original Ratchet for Transformers Prime. I do have the Jack, Miko, and Ralph over there, but it's, it's just too far from my reach. I forgot to grab it before the review. But uh, there you go, you got those three looking really nice, and you got the really 
nice proportions. I think the proportions kind of work out, even though this is not a Hasbro figure. Being that it's a Voyager, it does work out. I think he's taller than Ultra Magnus like that. But the shoulder pads does kind of make Magnus taller. I believe I forgot. <laughs> the And then Ratchet, I think Ra Ratchet is definitely going to be smaller than Prime, obviously. But I don't know if he's going to be this low or if he's a little higher. But it, it works out generally. It doesn't I mean I have a, a fine-tuned accuracy, but it has a general... Uh, scalability that works out so I'm a fan of that and I'll just kind of put him aside I will put Optimus with of course his nemesis oh the brother we were brothers once <laughs> which is another a whole nother universe uh, there he is there is APC Optimus Prime with Megatron and the scale works out pretty well with this i'm a big fan of the scale with that uh, i think that looks pretty accurate megatron towers over him now these are both apc figures so they are going to scale as they should um man man i just love that megatron i just love that megatron oh my god they look so great together of course you can still achieve the same great poses, the same great battle scenes with each other as you would do with the other Optimus Prime. There is no difference. I'm just a massive fan. And lastly, just for giggles, <laughs> I do have the Shockwave for Transformers Prime. That gives you a good idea of scale. And yep, it looks like it works out similar to how these other ones work out. That's just about how large they all are in comparison to one another. And yeah, I mean, very awesome. You know, you can definitely pose APC figures with Hasbro figures. They will uh, have some resemblance to accuracy. And that's essentially what you would get with them. And I'm a big fan of it. And here he is looking amazing in his alt mode. Now, I love it. I love it. I, I don't know what it is about this version but I absolutely love the drug mode. I love just the crystal power idea, the translucent plastic. What I notice and what is more visible now that he's in his alt mode is that the actual red pieces, the different translucent pieces, has little detailings and etchings on the inside. That's not necessarily part of the... Uh, part of the overall design for the exterior, but it's because it's translucent they gave those little almost like circuits that you can kind of see detailed in there and I like that a lot. I really really do uh, The transformation was the exact same as the APC-01 and uh, This one I find because of the material being very easy to maneuver with and it's it's nice and tough um, it's a way more satisfying, so it does not more, it's not really flimsy, so it, it's a pretty satisfying experience transforming him. Uh, here you go, you got the uh, back of the truck there, and then of course you got all of the different pieces. Uh, once again, same overall concept as the APC-01, just with a different overall build, which is the translucent plastic. You still got the silver paint up here for the window section and of course the doors you got the window the uh the windshield wiper is still detailed in there you can see that i don't know if that's visible yeah there you go you can, can you see the little windshield wipers there the front here is really cool i like the clear grill here and then you got the same uh going up into that section looking nice you got the headlights the headlights are actually blue not clear so that's an interesting shift. And then you got, of course, the uh, stacks there. It's the same proportions as the previous renditions, but except it's a little more transparent. I think it's cool, I really do. Uh, we're gonna drive Ratchet up here right now. And then, of course, just give you a little size comparison with the two. He looks well. He looks like the Autobot leader. Now, in terms of weapon storage, it's the same as the last one. If you want to, you can put the blaster behind him like that if that's what you so want to do i've seen people do this with other optimus prime trucks in the past with like the weapon storage and vehicle mode i don't necessarily think it makes any sense <laughs> number one it ruins the whole robots in disguise thing number two it's clearly an uh, like a robot blaster not an alt mode blaster number three it should be somewhere up here 
or something like it should like somehow fit like that to where it's like a stealth mode weapon not point it backwards so there's a lot of practical issues that come along with that but it, you, you can still achieve it if you'd like uh, and that's about the only accessory you can utilize for uh, weapon storage in the mode anyways that's all for today guys thank you for watching this review hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it this is a pretty awesome special edition release of the apc optimus prime which was a huge success if you guys want to grab one for yourself they do have the link in the description box below to the Josie store website once again thank you to Josie store for providing this figure for review and by all means this has been a teletrend review and i will catch you guys in the next one till all are one.